This is the John Schaum Pre-A Green Book first exercise, which is located on page 5, again on page 9, and again on page 11. So we'll start with the right-hand part. Actually, I'll, I'll play the, the notated version, but they all sound exactly the same. So here's the first part. Notice my right hand, fingers curved, wrist is straight. I'm going to start with finger number one on middle C. One, two, ready, and. Good, let's do that one more time. One and two, ready and play. Good, let's look at the next line. The next right hand part, notice it's in the time signature three, four, which means there are three beats per measure instead of four. So I'll count off in three, four. Ready and play. Let's do that one more time. Ready and play. Good. Now the third right hand part, we're back to 4 4. One and two. Ready and play. Let's do that one more time. One, two, ready, and. Good. Now we'll do the same part for the left hand. Left hand, fingers curved, relaxed, my wrist is straight. We'll start with the first line. One and two, ready, and. time. One and two. Ready and play. Now let's look at the next line. Again, the next line is in three, four. The top number means there are three notes in a measure. The bottom number over four means that the one-fourth, one-quarter note gets a beat, or the beat is a one-quarter note long. So, ready, and play. Let's do that one more time. One and two, play. Now, before we do the very last one, notice that whenever I'm playing any note with one finger, none of my other fingers are lifting up. I have a lot of students that'll do this. I refer to it as fireworks. I don't want to see any fireworks, so don't let any of your fingers lift up when you're playing the other ones. So now let's play the last part of the left hand part. One and two, ready and play. Very good. Let's do it one more time. One and two. Ready and play. Very good. See you next time.